So right now we got into the Bio Park, the zoo in Rome. We paid 16 euro per person, it's adult ticket and now in February the opening hours are till 17, 5. so 5 p.m. So the first animal is giraffe. <laughs> the smallest monkey in the world. And unfortunately, we did not see the smallest monkey. Either we missed it, or it was not there at the time. Whatever the case might be, we didn't actually get to see it. But we actually saw different small monkeys. Yeah, you can definitely see it. Yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, it's like a normal zoo, like it, what you would expect from a zoo. But it does feel a little bit older and it's kind of funny <laughs> what we saw right here. I don't know if you can see that. There is a giraffe right there standing here. And it was kind of funny, it kind of thrown us off because we didn't expect this. But anyway, this zoo feels a little bit older. It seems a little bit older and it kind of feels like it's in the middle of modernization in some parts. So yeah. And right here you can see that we entered the reptile house. It was very cool because it actually showed the way it should be with the climate, with the weather, the fog and the rain. And because of that my lens got really foggy really quickly. But for the experience it was very good. You actually would feel how it would be in that climate. You 
you see the Rome Bill Park, you can actually feel that it's a little bit older. But I guess we came in a time when it's actually in the middle of modernization, in the middle of renovation. But many places you could actually see that they were either new, pretty much brand new, or they were still being made. So we are done with the zoo. It was very big. Yeah, I think we didn't expect that. Yeah, we thought it's gonna be much, much smaller, especially since it's already in the park, but it's very big. It definitely exceeded the size that we thought it's gonna be. We thought it's gonna be just a small zoo in the park, because you have to remember that the Rome Bio Park is in the middle of Villa Borghese in Rome. But the thing is, it actually was much bigger than we expected. At the moment, this is pretty much like a mixture of old and new, which is actually pretty cool in itself, but I think it's going in the right direction right now. And it's one of the things you could do while being in Rome, especially if you're visiting Villa Borghese, you can actually visit the Rome Bio Park. And with that being said, that is gonna be it for today's video. But before we end this video, a couple things that I wanted to mention very quickly. First off, if you like the music in this video or in any other of my work, check out Epidemic Sound. It's gonna be a link down below. If you choose to sign up through that link, you will get 30 days free. Second off, if you would like to support our channel, check out my Patreon and my website. If you choose to become our Patreon, well, there are things coming back your way because we send a monthly postcards from the places that we visit. Some of them are actually bought at the location and others are taken from our photos stitched together into a postcard and with handmade drawings on the back. And last but not least, if you want to join a travel community, check out Travel the World. It's a Facebook travel community. If you're into that kind of stuff, check it out. It's gonna be a link down below. So that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again and I'll see you next time.